You guys know by now, rain is my favorite, unless it's snow. <laughs> so here I am, of course, outside Prairie Path Books, just before we open on this Sunday. If you don't have a place to go to hear the rain, come to our patio. We have lots of seating. It's covered. And Dave and I just got back from Philadelphia, where everything is red, white, and blue. Everything is decked out, so I'm trying to pay homage to Memorial Day as best we can. Come sit and listen to the rain, but you know what? Better yet, let's go inside. I haven't done a walk around with you guys in a while. You know what to do. You come in. You see our most enchanting children's section. One of my favorite books, one of my favorite sentiments for the littles and for us. You're going to find stuff here that you won't find many places. Slow down and be here now. Great advice, right? For anyone. We have things you're not going to find everywhere. I'm so proud of that. Thunder. Madeline's pointing to it. Perfect sentiment for today. Our favorite European, Swedish really, publisher. We have a lot of their things out. Expecting another baby with a toddler already. It's the best. This is my favorite thing. I got it for, I think, $3 at uh, TJ Maxx. No, you can't have it. I absolutely love it. But you can have all these things that really only a small bookstore would have for you such special ones i think that when you introduce a child to a gorgeous palette it stays with them i was raised by my mom as an artist and i don't know if i have great taste but no doubt about it being being surrounded by beautiful things is you don't know how important it is it sinks in so we haven't done a walk around in a while. I will say, humbly, <laughs> that I'm pretty good at the Father's Day thing. I'm a huge sports fan, as a lot of you know. Oh, these are our lights, Zeferano. Don't forget, you can order them through us. When you don't have any outlets, say, in an older home. <laughs> we started showrooming these and selling them. Let me know if you need one. We give them to you at 25% off when you order. So I have a lot of sports and things I know men like, because I live with them. Situation Room, I'm a huge ABC, Good Morning America person. George Stephanopoulos is my favorite. So when this I knew was coming out, I had to have it. I was reading it as Dave and I drove east to Emma's graduation. And he stole it from me, my husband, because I was looking up and reading out anecdotes from this book, which I just absolutely loved. The Situation Room is actually more recent than you would think. Um, JFK was suggested to him, and he did build one. It was so cramped and dingy. It's shocking how much time was spent there in the next um, 50 years, 60 years before they finally recently made it a little bit more posh or what you would see in the movies. I just loved it. Dave stole it. He finished it. I'm going to steal it back and finish it too. I loved it. Um, Every Man a Hero. This is actually pretty new. A survivor of D-Day, Ray Lambert, um, writes his story. And you can't believe as a child of depression how simple his life was, how important it needed, it, it must be for him to uh, do whatever he could to help feed himself because he was a growing 13, 14, 15 year old and he, um, nobody had the money in his family to feed him. So he kind of got sent around to different homes in his family. He learned how to do everything. And perchance when he entered the army in 1941, actually I think 1940, he, um, said I gave shots. I was a veterinarian for a day or an assistant. And so he became a medic. <laughs> and his story is absolutely humbly told, but fabulous. He went everywhere. Not just D-Day. We have great new releases out here. I'd love to talk to you about them. General and Julia, nonfiction. Um, sorry, what am I saying? Historical fiction. Loved it. Would love to tell you about it. Finished this one in Philadelphia. Colton Gentry's third act. Just a, a romance plus. 
excellent, excellent read. Really liked it. This is my next one. Can't read. Wait to read Mrs. Quinn. And you guys, Gunkle, one of my favorite books ever, has its sequel out. Gunkle is going to his brother's wedding in Italy. And of course, the tots are five years older. And it's more hijinks. I just love them. Stephen Raleigh puts me in a good mood every time. We have lots of summer reads out, too. Of course, Emily Henry. We have her stack over there. She's just a sure thing for the summer. And I really like Lori Dave. So we have a whole bunch of her out here. And you guys, guess what? Paris is a site of the Olympics. One of my favorite things in the entire world is just having great sports on in the background. Totally childhood memory. I'm going to have a watch party periodically at my house so people can just come and loosely watch and admire great athletes. And isn't it funny how you kind of end up critiquing the athletes like they're the best in the world, but if they wobble on their landing, you're like, oh, no. Um, so we have a great collection of Paris books. I mean, what I like to do here is that, of course, we have the Paris novel. I loved it. If you love food, this is a must. If you love Paris, it's a must. Ruth Reichel, who was the essay writer for Gourmet and um, is, is just a wonderful nonfiction storyteller with food as its center. And this is her novel. I, I really, really liked it. I would say definitely if you like food, it's, um, it's half the words are praising food and, and just in its deliciousness. I loved it. But I like that what we do here, too, is point out um, if everyone's doing a Paris display in their bookstore, we like to do something a little extra. And Stephen Heyman wrote about being an Ohio farm boy and moving to Paris in a most literary sense and uh, being part of the organic food movement that... Um, he and others were a big part of. So I love pointing that out to you. This is great for, I loved it. Um, the House of Dior plays pretty large in um, Ruth Reichel's novel. And Mrs. Harris is about a char woman who ends up in, in, in a little bit of money and decides she's been opening closets and seeing Dior in the people's houses that she cleans. And she decides she's going to go to the House of Dior. It's so fun, and it's also a gorgeous movie. The scenes of The House of Dior are wonderful. So if you have um, someone who would enjoy that, watching it with you, this is a great gift, too. Um, not Paris, but Helen Simonson writes so beautifully historical fiction about um, England before the war. This was before World War I. Um, and then this is uh, Major Pettigrew is lovely, a retired colonel and his love story. And this is her new one, World War II. So we have, of course, Peter Mile, who's the funnest. His stories, his capers, mysteries, sets in Provence are so wonderful. And then, of course, our Women in Europe um, book club is kicking off in 10 days or so with the French ingredient, an American, who opens a cooking school in Paris. So I've been reading a lot about food. And I've missed having my kitchen. So now that I'm home, I'm cooking quite a bit. And one thing that I absolutely recommend for Dad's Day or any day, if you live in a household where you always have leftovers and you don't know what to do with a 9 by 13 batch of, um, of something, brownies, this is the book for you. I've cooked from it quite a bit, so I stocked up on it for here. Um, it's the smallest batch baking, and I think it's ideal to cook for Daddy for Dad's Day for little ones because it's so manageable. No matter how little they are, the batches are so small that you won't get bored, and they cook up quick, so you won't get bored, and yet it's good, you're going to have great results. I absolutely recommend it, and it's an experience gift because you can keep cooking with Daddy all year long. I um, love the cookbooks we have in right now. And one thing I think I'm most proud of is getting custom. And these are made in France, actually. So they're delightful shortbread, and you can customize them. So these are phrases that are important to me. I, I uh, had them, you know, I told them exactly what I wanted. This is my favorite, so quiet, you can hear a page turn. What a lovely gift for just that person. You did it, I knew you would star. I am lucky to know you. I say that to so many people in my life. Appreciation for all your alwaysness. Who are you thinking of right now? 
what teachers make a difference. Oh my gosh. Teachers, coaches, it's the best. And of course, consider the road less traveled by. We customize them just for you. And we have candles too. All customized. Come in and visit.